Hi, my name is Claire Ryan. I'm the coordinator of the Midwest Invasive Plant Network and the Woody Invasives of the Great Lakes or Wiggle Collaborative. Today I'm going to tell you about the invasive tree Norway maple, Acer platinoides. I'll tell you briefly about the species history and current status in North America, why it's invasive, and then we'll take a look at ways to identify it in the field. As the common name implies, Norway maple is native to northern and central Europe and western Eurasia. That common name doesn't always tell you how, how to know where a plant is from, but in this case, it is accurate. It was introduced to North America in the late 1700s, and it spread primarily through the ornamental trade and is still popular in urban and suburban areas today as an ornamental. There are a lot of cultivars. Some have red or dark purple growing season foliage. Records of this species occurring outside of cultivation are primarily in the northeastern quarter of the continental U.S. There are some in Ontario, Quebec, and the Pacific Northwest as well. Like all maples, the seeds of Norway maple are spread mostly by wind, which means the seed doesn't tend to travel all that far from the parent tree. Due to high adaptability to shade and various soil types, Norway maple seeds can grow in a lot of different settings. It invades forest edges like the area I'm in right now, old fields, rights of way, generally disturbed areas first, but it can move in, into closed, undisturbed forest areas over generation because the seedlings are very shade tolerant. It beca can become dominant in the understory, displacing and shading out native understory plants and reducing overall diversity. Identification can be a real challenge because Norway maple looks similar to native maples, particularly sugar maple, so let's take a close look at those key identification features. Norway maples at maturity can grow over 40 feet tall with a similar crown width. The crown is roundish in shape and very dense. It casts a lot of shade. The leaves are oppositely arranged and have the quintessential maple leaf shape, like sugar maple, or like the leaf you see on the Canadian flag. The leaf of Norway maple tends to be somewhat wider and have more lobes, up to nine lobes, compared to sugar maple. The summer foliage in wild trees is generally a medium to dark green, like you can see behind me. But this doesn't mean that the red leaved cultivars don't contribute to escape populations. They absolutely do. And there's been research showing that. Fall foliage of Norway maple is a medium to dull golden color. It's not brilliantly colored and it doesn't have any tinges of orange or red. When squeezed, the leaf stalk or petiole of Norway maple exudes a white latex-like liquid. Native maples may also have some fluid in those petioles, but it's going to be clear. Norway maples flower in spring as leaves emerge and mature their helicopter seeds, which the technical term for that is paired samara, uh, in the summer. The two halves of the paired samaras are set at a wide angle, like a coat hanger. Native maple samara pairs are distinctly downward sloped, kind of like that. If you have a Norway maple on your property, we recommend that you consider removing it and replacing it with a non-invasive tree, especially if the tree is located within a thousand feet or so of a natural area or a forested right away. This tree does not sucker aggressively from the roots, so there are more control options available to you. Native maples are great for naturalized settings and for lower intensity developed areas with good soil, but they may not thrive in the compacted soils of intensely urban areas or in places with bad air pollution. Freeman's maple is a hybrid between the native red and silver maple. It might be the most adaptable native option for you. There are also non-native options that are not invasive, including Miyabi maple or ginkgo, completely different type of tree, or little leaf linden. Those are other good street trees for urban applications. To learn more about control techniques and alternatives for Norway maple, check out our website, woodyinvasives.org or subscribe to our channel for more useful videos like this one. Thanks so much.